Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. Now imagine you're assigning chores to family members and you ask two of them to go and dust. Maybe one dust their room and a few other places and another one to dust another part of the house. Well, the first family member says, oh, Forget it, I'm not going to do that. While the second one says, oh, sure, I'll do that. Well, the first one who says, forget it, decides, you know, maybe I should help out. And they get the dust rag and they go and clean all the area you asked them to. Meanwhile, the one who said, oh, sure, I'll do it, decides, Shh, I'm not going to do that. Now, which person would you be more pleased with? Which one actually did what you asked? Pretty easy, right? The first one. And so this week we are reflecting on Matthew chapter 21, verses 23 through 32, where Jesus gives an example such as that, that there are two sons and one says he's not going to do something, but then goes and does it, while the other who said he would, never did. And we, as the followers of Christ, are to be those who follow through on what we say. That we're not just to be a bunch of lip service, not just quoting scripture and saying, oh, you should do this and do that, and then not living up to those very same mandates, those very same principles and ideals. That while maybe you might not be out quoting every verse and address of scripture, but yet you're living a life that is pleasing to God, that follows in the footsteps of Christ, you are more likely putting a smile on God's face than the person who's just giving lip service. I invite you this week to read that passage from Matthew's Gospel and also to spend some time in reflection. Are you really following through on what God has asked you to do? Are you following through on your service to God and to those around you? Or are you merely giving lip service? I invite you to reflect and to spend some time putting your words into action. Follow through on loving and serving God and God's people. May God continue to inspire you and guide you.